Welcome, my friends, to a new show we're putting together called The Majority Speaks. We're going to present some new and interesting ideas that I believe have never really been presented to the people before. And the reason I'm doing this show is because of many problems that have developed in our political system today. And the biggest problem we have before us is that the majority of the people tend to feel that they're not represented. They feel they are not listened to. But now the problem in speaking about the majority is it's ironical that many people just do, do not seem to oh, accept the idea that the majority rule is a good thing. But they would disagree with Thomas Jefferson. Let me read his words, first of all, what he's, just a couple quotes about what he said about the majority. He said this, I subscribe to the principle that the will of the majority honestly expressed should give law. Here's another interesting quote. The will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government and to protect, and to protect its free expression should be our first object. And then finally, he went so far as to say this. I readily suppose my opinion wrong when opposed by the majority. Now, I personally wouldn't go that far. I don't think the majority is always right. But the advantage of working with a majority is this, is the majority of the people usually have a common sense approach to things. It may be not, the majority don't always support the most avant-garde uh, ideas, or maybe not the highest ideals, but they are the path of safety. For example, in the, with the rise of the Third Reich, a lot of well, one of the criticisms projected toward a democracy is that they, some people think that Hitler was elected in a democracy. But Hitler wasn't really elected. During uh, the election, he only got about a third of the vote. He did not get the majority of the vote. And then because he didn't get the majority and there was no clear uh, majority in that election, it turned out that he was, uh, through a lot of strong arming, arming, he got himself appointed to be uh, uh, leader of Germany. So he was an appointed leader. But what is interesting, what caused that flaw is that there were all kinds of different parties in Germany at that time. And they didn't have a two-party system the way we did. Do. And when in the two-party system, you generally have an election or a winner of an election that is close to representing the majority of the people. Now, sometimes, like uh, Bill Clinton had a little bit less than the majority, but he was still close to the majority. And in this country, with a, with a basic two-party system, we don't we would are not in much danger of electing somebody like Hitler. But in Germany, they had many different parties. So they ha wound up with the problem of having a, a minority candidate coming into office that would have never been elected by the majority of the people. The majority of the people are wise enough to follow the path of safety. And the unfortunate thing for the German people is they got a guy in that got in with only a, th a third of the vote of the people, lacking a majority by a long ways. Now, Thomas Jefferson was right in the fact that the majority of the people are wise, and he, feel, he felt very strongly that the majority of the people should be followed even if he disagreed with the majority. Now, one of the main reasons that people are a little bit adverse to supporting majority will is very few people agree with the majority all the time. 
if we go along with the majority will, what will happen is each one of us will get our way sometimes, and other times we won't get our way. And the problem with our political system is that both sides want to get their way all the time. And when one side does get in, they wind up getting their ways implemented so that close to half of the people are really pretty happy and the other half are very disgruntled. Whereas if we had something that was closer to majority rule, those people in the middle, not the left or the right, but the common sense people in the middle would be a lot happier. So the reason we want the majority to express themselves is several. Is that with the majority rule, as I said, we have the path of safety. Now the question is, why do we not have anything close to the majority rule right now? We have what is called a republic. And in a republic, we elect rep representatives. The representatives go in, and after they get in, they pretty much vote however they feel like. And what they feel like is often not very close to what the majority that elected them feel like. And why is this? Matter of fact, oftentimes people will go into office and we think that they're going to be a certain type of politician. And then we think they're going to vote a certain way. We think they're going to turn over the establishment and do things different than any candidate has done before. And after they're there about six months, all of a sudden, they uh, have a personality change. And they turn into just a regular politician. And they vote uh, not the way they told us they would vote. And they're not there to all of a sudden overturn, or not so much overturn, but change Washington to the better to represent the will of the people. But all of a sudden, they're just they're going along with the, uh, the flow that is, is in Washington. And as we know, the flow that is in Washington is a lot different than the energy and the uh, will of the people in ordinary America. Because there's something about Washington is they have a uh, kind of what I would call a thought form generated there. Where once you get there and get ingrained with the people there, to, in order to get along, you have to change your attitude or else you will not be accepted. And one of the strongest desires for the individual person is to be accepted by his peers. So even though you were here, let's say, in Boise, Idaho, and you were just kind of ordinary guy, and you ran for office, and you think you're going to uh, uh, change things, once you get there, you're no longer with um, uh, Joe Sixpack here in Idaho. You're with people who think they are sophisticated in Washington. And if you're going to have any friends, you have to kind of start thinking the way they do.